Well, hello, little phone and YouTube. Um, I'm Leanne, and if you're following me along, I'm doing Slimming World. Um, I'm on a weight loss journey. Um, it's not my channel all about Slimming World, but that is the plan that I've decided to do to try and lose weight. And woohoo! Welcome to my week 30 on Slimming World. I am absolutely astounded that I have survived 30 weeks. Like, I say survived, like, some weeks I have not absolutely slayed this diet at all. However, I have kept going to group. I've not given in. Um, so, to get to 30 weeks, I'm finding somewhat astounding. Like, 30 whole weeks. That's ages for me. Um, usually, previously, like, on diets and things... I have done like so many weeks and then got really bored and really fed up and really deflated and things like that. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually really enjoying this. I feel like it's it's not easy, don't get me wrong, because it is so easy to pack in and not do this, you know, like and just eat whatever you want. And especially yesterday. Yesterday, this week has just been challenging to say the least, but I've survived. So before I get to the weigh-in, like, I'm going to run you through my week and what's happened. So, like, I got weighed last Thursday. Um, that was absolutely fine, no problem. Um, Friday was fine, I was working. Saturday came and I was invited to a wedding. So Ryan and Laura, who have started life as two clients but have become friends, um, decided to get married. We went through to Bawtree and they got married there. Um, I was asked to do the videography and photographs for the wedding, which Oliver came with me and we did that for the evening. So there was drinks there, the, they were all drinks supplied, nobody had to like buy any drinks, they were all, that's what they decided to do. And I, Leanne Ellis, decided that I was sticking on my plan. So I had, like two of my little egg bites that I made and a yogurt before I went. I then shoved some fruit in and I had that before I got out to start the wedding because the wedding, we had to be there for like half past one, I think. So we're traveling up there and getting ready and stuff. Um, that is, sorry, my dogs are just arguing. Stop! They're playing with a toy. Um, so it was just like a really weird time. So I, I made sure that I ate my breakfast and then my dinner and then I did all day. So at the wedding, it was really awkward, I'm going to call it, because I, I like, I find compliments really, really difficult. Um, I just wore a vintage dress that I'd bought. Yes, I only have vintage. It cost me like six pound. Um and a cardigan and it was lovely everybody all night was really complimentary people that know me and like have not seen me for ages were like saying how beautiful i were and that i was a really nice person absolutely like they could really see a difference in me so that's been quite nice that people are starting to see a change in me obviously i know i've still got loads to lose and i know i'm still fat don't get me wrong i am not deluded but it was nice that some people saw that i'm not gonna lie um one of the like negative things that happened i sometimes think that oliver takes me a little bit for granted and through the night everybody was saying how amazing i am and such a nice person and things um he had a drink again which we had actually following the previous like issue that we had is not supposed to be drinking um he did actually ruin my night a little bit it got really like, I think you were a bit shocked how many people were saying how beautiful I am and how nice I am and how, like, lovely I look. It did promote him to maybe take a step back and, like, think, mm, yeah, actually she is. And he were very complimentary, don't get me wrong. But it's, it, like, he said a few things in terms of, I think he were joking, but were like saying stuff about us getting married and stuff and that he didn't want to get married and that I were forcing him. And there were just a few issues there. So then on Sunday, it was really, really emotional. Like I stuck on plan. I came home after the wedding. We came home earlier because Oliver got really drunk and spewed up, which was mortifying. Um, <clears throat> We then came home. We set off home at half nine. We were home for 10. 
Um, I came home, made myself some pasta because I was absolutely starving and freezing. And I am quite proud of myself that given, even though it was like really, it was social, it were a wedding, there were loads of food on. I stuck to planning it, just like salad and things. Um, I didn't go off. I didn't have a dessert. There were like these tiny little cheesecakes that were so nice. There were loads of bread and dips and all the things on a like a buffet kind of, I think it was called like a grace table. Um, there was all these things there and I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't succumb. Um, I was pretty well behaved. So I was quite proud of myself for that actually. Uh, Sunday I'm quite proud of myself as well. We did go out for a turby carvery but I wasn't horrendous and given that I'd not really had any sins the day before and I've been like, I don't mind going out for a meal and a bit of a cheat meal. Um, and I pull it back like the days either side of it by not having as many sins. So we did that. Uh, we ended up having a huge like emotional talk on Sunday about like Oliver having a bit of issues. Like there's obviously underlying things going there and there's things that I'm not really happy with that I find quite negative, you know, in my relationship. Um, and we have discussed going to couples therapy. Whether or not Oliver's going to follow through with that is entirely up to him. But I'm trying to grow as an individual and be a lot more grounded, level-headed, less emotional. And I think that will also then impact on my ability to diet and be healthy and do what's right for me. Um, I think to lose weight, you have got to be happy. You've got, like, if there's other stuff going on that you're not happy with, it's like a recipe for disaster. It's really hard to do something like this without being happy overall. And at the moment, I'm trying to concentrate on myself. So that is something that is going to be coming up, hopefully. And hopefully things will get a bit better. Um, if not, I'm not going to lie, I, I'm just not doing this like like this forever. And it's really weird because people think that I'm the awful one in the relationship because I'm quite forthright with my views. And obviously when Oliver then goes to drink before it gets bad, I will say stuff like, don't do that and don't do this. And people think it's controlling when in actual fact I'm trying to safeguard the like aftermath that generally comes and the embarrassment so I do find that really difficult. It did turn a little bit of Saturday, but kind of not because I'm quite proud of myself for what I did and like concentrating on myself rather than him. I think Oliver's like struggling with that a little bit. And it's like a new thing for me to do because I'm a bit of a people pleaser sometimes and I don't like to say no to people. So that's changed. So enough anyway of the negativity. Um, this week's been fine on plan. Um, Monday and Tuesday, I just pulled it back in. I have prepped some soups and made them, given some to my mum. And I've just been at work and doing Quirky Duck online, this online shop uh, that we have on Etsy. And it's not been really busy in salons, so it's not been that bad. On Tuesday, I th no, on Monday this week, I went to an arts and crafts day. Well, a couple of hours. Um, there's some in Rotherham, there's some like free courses that are going off and I'm doing them because it's a bit of time to myself. I like arts and crafts and I like learning new skills and being self-employed, it's you don't, I'm not getting the same kind of feel sometimes and it is all about work and home life and things like that. So I did pyrography anyway and I made like this well, I tried to scribe like a pumpkin into a piece of wood. It was really interesting. I really enjoyed it. And it's something that I would do myself at home. Um, and it's nice just to have a bit of me time. On Tuesday, um, I also then, there was like a cancellation on a course. And I ended up going on that. And it was, oh, I can't ever say it, macrame. Do you know where you like plait and knot pieces of string and make something? And I made like a pumpkin plant pot um, for autumn, which were decoupage, which are, I think that's how you say it. I'm rubbish at stuff like this, which I really enjoyed. And then made like the hanging basket thing to go with it. Again, absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed doing it. And it's just nice to have a bit of something that I'm just doing for myself, which is crazy because I feel like I'm doing loads of stuff for myself and I'm kind of feeling a little bit guilty about it, like mungil or... 
I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, I'm feeling guilty about doing these things for myself. So I'm trying to get my head around not being like that because it's just a couple of hours eat like each time and it's not every week and I'm quite in salon, so I'm quite enjoying doing that. Um, what else has happened? Oh god, I also this week I me and Kelly last night on Wednesday night went to club aside. So previously I'd, I'd tried to do burlesque dancing. Uh, we went to this class and it just weren't for me. I was not impressed. It's not the actual dance. I just think the the delivery just wasn't for me. I wanted just something a little bit more. Um, Just for me, that is nothing wrong with the class. It was just like my own thing, what I expected and what the reality was. It just, I don't think it was for me. So we tried club size on a Wednesday with a lady called Joe. She's It's new, this lady has like gone through breast cancer, had treatment, and now she's better. She's trying to build up classes again. Oh my God, it was brilliant. I had an hour, well, maybe a bit less after warm up and getting set up and things of like this dancing. There were flashing lights. It were in a dark room. It was quite a small group. It was lovely. Uh, I was sweaty, like literally sweaty. There was sweat on my forehead. Um, that was quite mortifying. I, I don't like sweating. Um, yeah, I do feel like it was a bit of a workout. It got me moving and I think it's going to help me on the progress to get in like my gold award if I can do this every week. Um, I've booked next week, next Wednesday. I'm really excited to go. I can't wait. Um, it's six pound a lesson. I had to buy two of the like little strawberry glow stick things that I have that were really cool. Uh, it was just really good fun, really upbeat, really energetic. It was a bit like air aerobic. Do you know like when you used to do old school aerobics, like proper Jane Fonda in it? A bit like that, but with dancing. And I just liked it. It was really, I felt really comfortable, which I didn't think I would. And I'm hoping after doing this, it like builds my confidence up. Obviously my strength and my health and my fitness. But that and walking and then I'll probably put in other things later down the line. Um, I'm hoping that that helps me stay on track and maybe lose a bit more weight of it like, and keep the momentum going. If you haven't tried Club of Size, it's probably like Zumba. I'm guessing they're all kind of similar. And you are worried about going and like if anybody's watching this and they're my kind of size, just go, stand at the back. And you know, if you can't keep up, just sidestep, just do whatever, just have fun with it. Stop putting yourself off because you feel judged because that's what I've done. And actually it's not that bad once you do it. And who gives a shit? Fundamentally, who gives a shit? Just go and do it. Do what's best for you. Stop worrying about everybody else. Club of size. Big tick. We will be doing that again. Uh, she's got a couple of groups, actually, like that she does on Tuesday and Wednesday. So maybe I might eventually start going to birth and doing that twice a week. Um, but I'll, I'll see. I'll see what I fancy doing. I might choose something else. So I'll vary it up. But I actually really enjoyed that. There's a thing called Boogie Bounce. I might try that. But I'm, I'm not there yet. I am not there. It has actually led me to think, shit, I need to get myself sorted in terms of like a decent bra because that was an issue but other than that it was absolutely brilliant um i don't think much else has happened this week um i've like i said i've stuck to plan i've made soups i've prepped i've frozen um, some foods so i've got them in the fridge um, my main meals this week uh what i've had loads of seem to be um loads and loads of Oh God, it was called stir fry with chicken. I don't know why, but I just love that. I'm having it again tonight. Um, I've just spoke to Oliver on the phone. I'm like, right, we're we'll going to take the dogs a walk after work. And that is what I'm all about at the moment. God knows why, but I am feeling that big time. So week 30 weighing. And maybe if you're watching this, this is what you're waiting to see. So off I troddles after I'd had my Toby Carvery and feeling a bit stressed out that... Maybe that might have screwed things up for me. I, at the moment, have got a £2 a week target on the run-up to Christmas. I started this when there was 14 weeks to Christmas. This is now my third week trying to tick off my little ticky box that I put up. Um, This keeps me motivated. This is just a tactic that I use to keep me going. And I know people will think it's stupid, 
but I actually haven't got a target overall. I like to do little targets. So my first one was the five stone for me going on holiday and now I want to do the seven stone by Christmas. So I have walked into group and lo and behold, she gives us, I can't find it. I seem to have lost it somewhere, but I hope it turns up because I'm going to stick it on my fridge. There's a little bauble on a little ribbon. It's like a, just a piece of cardboard and it's like on the back, it says my Christmas wishes and she's asked us to fill it in. Now, I usually cringe at stuff like this and usually get a bit like, oh, this is a bit cheesy, I'm not doing it, but I'm fully embracing any form of motivation and what is the point if I go to group and do not participate? So I'm participating regardless of what, like the cringiness and the ick that's going off inside of me. So I get to my pen, I encourage my mum to fill hers in as well because she's going a bit up and down. She's like, does good and then does rubbish, then does good, then does rubbish. So we're like, right, we're filling in this Christmas wish. There's now 12 more weeks till Christmas. I've already started with my Christmas target. That is like me focused to do it. But this was also quite adequate. So I thought, right, I'm filling it in. So on the back of my barbell, I have written that by Christmas, I would like to get my seven stone award. So, so far I have my five and a half stone award and I hope that I can achieve this by Christmas because it'll just make me feel better and then after Christmas I'll set myself another target because it's my 40th birthday coming up so in Mar end of March next year so I'm first just I'm not even concentrating on that I'm hoping I'm going to just get this seven stone first and then I'll set myself another countdown on the run up to my 40th birthday and I'm supposed to be going on holiday abroad with the girls. So I'm hoping that I can put something in place that will give me a new aim. We're also going to Prague um, next year. And we are then also going to Santorini. And we might be going to Turkey. So I've got a lot like, if you've watched me previously, you will know that me flying is a bit of a new thing and going abroad. Uh, because I've been scared that I won't fit in the plane seats and I won't be able to fit my seatbelt. Uh, this year when I got on, I wasn't allowed a seatbelt extension because how extension because I paid extra for seats that I thought would be bigger that were at the front of the pay plane, which were emergency seats, so I couldn't have a seatbelt extender. Thankfully, I got on and the seatbelt closed, but I don't want to have that nightmare again. Especially like hopefully by Prague, it'll be a bit more comfortable. So, uh, sorry, back to Wayne. So week thirty walks in. Um, I've paid this week because next week they're releasing a new book if you buy a countdown and then it's 12 weeks till Christmas so that is what I'm going to buy so I've just paid. On the front there was an old book and this is, I like a Slimming World recipe book, it's like amazing, look, I've bought this, soup, superheroes, I love soup, it's like my staple for the winter. So I've bought myself this this week. There was one left in group, which I bought before my mum nicked it because she buys them all. Um, tomato and egg noodle soup, spinach doll soup with broccoli and I didn't read that. Chili con carne soup, Sicilian style fish soup, lamb harriera. I can't say that. Harriera? Harriera? I can't know. Supo o pistu. I don't know what that is. Beef and mushroom goulash soup. Butter bean and roast red pepper soup, like that is a piece of me, that, that there is what I would love, like butter bean and roasted red pepper soup, oosh, it's just a piece of me, so I'm going to make some things out of that, I'll probably put shorts on, you know, so if there's recipes then people can also use them, I've started doing that actually, I've started trying to put my recipes on, so if other people see it and they think, oh I don't mind giving that a try, then hopefully they will be able to try it and that might help somebody. Um, so anyway, it gets weird. And this week I have lost three pound. Yep, I've lost three pound. Now my target is two pound and I've lost three. So what that meant was, da 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 da, are you ready? Drum roll, please. I got this I did I thought maybe next week but I've actually got my six stern award which means I've got the six and a half stern and then the seven to get before Christmas which is I think that's quite realistic I'm hoping that I can do that but do, 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 this pleases me somewhat um also on top of that I won do, 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 slimmer of the week and I got another magnet so 
I do quite like the magnets. I think they're quite inspirational. They all sit on my fridge with, well, that's where I put my certificates that I get. So it's getting quite full actually, which I'm quite proud of. So I'll start on the bottom half of the door now and start doing where the freezer bit is. But it says, don't follow your dreams, chase them. Ah, how fitting is that? I got a new magnet and that's what it says. So that's going on there. So I got the slimmer of the week, um, which I got some eggs, which are brilliant. So I eat loads of eggs at minute. Onions and carrots. Um, I ain't even looked at this, so do excuse me because I'm going to empty it. A little bag of fruit that somebody's put together. Um, an apple. Tin of tomatoes. I eat loads of those. Um, I put this in, another tin of tomatoes, the cheap ones from Aldi, I don't care, they are fine. And somebody put this in, don't know how many sins these are, but I know the sins, so this will go in the like little tub that I have for Tia and Lily and Oliver to eat, just with crap in, so they can have that. I got a Diet Coke, no caffeine, Diet Coke. Um, I am starting to have cans of pop every now. I don't really drink fizzy drinks, but every now and again I do when I've got like a bit of a sweet tooth going off. Another apple. Um, sweet corn, because I eat that all the time too. So that's amazing that I've got that. Um, oh, Tina Heinz beans. They're posh for us. I usually have Al Dessert. got posh beans. Um, an apple. That's a big apple, that one and a tin of mackerel fillets, which, because I'm vegetarian, probably won't eat, but I do give them my dogs a win-win. Um, overall, that is my week done. I have lost, I think, six stone dead on. Uh, that's my total for now. I don't know how many pounds that is, but I will work it out. Um, I will, let me just have a look, see if they've written it in my book. And uh, just had minus three this week, so I was six eleven, and now I'm—I mean five eleven lost, and now I'm six stone lost. I am actually looking in my book nineteen stone one and a half, so that's quite crazy. Because if I can maintain and lose two pound next week, I'm only going into a new stone bracket, which I never in a month of Sundays, thought that that, that shit were gonna happen. I'm gonna be honest, when I started this, I started at 25 stone, one and a half. Um, yeah, that's quite crazy and a little bit weird to even think about, actually, that concept, that is so bizarre. Uh, yes, I am aware, I do you know, like any hatred and trolls on this, I don't really care because I have kicked ass and, there is nothing that you're going to say, any hatred or bad comments that's going to take that away from me. I've worked my ass off 30 weeks and I am now six stone down. So watch this space because that's getting, the loss is getting bigger and my numbers are going down. So screw you. Um, yeah, I just, I think that's quite crazy. And an aim, I will put, sorry, I've got all my stuff in there. So I will put my little ticky off Christmas chart, my Christmas countdown, I'm going to call it, um, up here. This is where I'm up to now. Um, I'm ahead of Target um, because I think I should have lost £6 by now because I've been doing it for three weeks, I think. Oh, I've, not, I've not done it yet, so I don't know. But I think I'm ahead of Target. Um, actually, now I've put that up. So my Target to loss lose so far. I'll put here and the target that I well my achievement so far is here and I'm on week so that'll just summarize and update because I'll edit that in and put it in um yeah so I better get off because I've actually got to go to work and do something today but overall it's been a win-win think thin